lot of shit in it that just doesn't do as well. You know what I mean? That doesn't, like, reach out. You know? Like, I wouldn't mind, like... Or Legend of Zelda. Zelda's a great example. You know, having this long-winded story and a cinematic game experience is fine, but remember you have to be games. All right. I think I've gone long enough anyways. It's like... I'm like 40 minutes in. I might as well continue until I get to the 40 minute mark because I want to uh, even it out when I edit this because it's a little hard when I do it on my phone. I, this is why I kind of want to do it on a uh, computer or a PC. It's because uh, it's because I want it. I want it to be more clear of like what I want to say. Um, but again, it's just 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 something I just get a, you know, I get passionate about. It's the same thing with film. You know what I mean? Like, people talk about the theaters dying, and it's like, well, you know, your, your biggest issue was having movies, uh, overpriced tickets, overpriced food, you know, now with the whole seating arrangement shit, which, honestly, no, like, that's not theater. That, that, that That's, like... Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to go to a theater and think, like, it's first come, first serve, bitch. Welcome to the Am Welcome to the jungle. I'm so happy that some people are starting to, like, get drive-in theaters back up. And I'm like, why don't we do that anymore? Like, what happened to drive-in theaters? I mean, that, if I had the money, I really do want to invest in that. I really do. In fact, no, if I, I that's something, that's a goal. I want to invest in a drive-in theater. I want to get the basics down of that. I want to bring that Americana back. And people should bring that back. Like, And don't give me this bullshit summer's canceled. If we can bring that back, I would be so happy. Because theaters were just... Um, you know, theaters are fine, but drive-in theaters are a beautiful experience. The movie taverns are fine, but by the way, uh, the quick little story before this whole video ends... Um, I went to a movie tavern with my brother and my friend Kyle to go see uh, uh, John Wick 3, and I ordered a martini, a vodka martini. Most watered-down drink ever. Never again. It ruined the experience. It ruined the experience of going to the movie theater. Um, well, that kind of theater experience, but I feel like the movie theaters, you know, they, they bitch and moan about nobody's going to the theaters anymore and streaming. Like, you're right, I love streaming services, but... Going to a theater is a different is a is a beautiful experience, and I think we need to make it like worthy to go back to the theaters again. Because not I'm not talking about the global little like the big conglomerate you know the Regal Cinemas or the AMC's or the you know the the big you know United Artists theaters. I'm talking about the small independent theaters like the Highway or you know the one in Battlesboro, Vermont, which is another great theater. You know. Start showing movies that people do want to see. Not the art films that you think, you know, for your art buddies to, you know, masturbate to and be like, oh, the art of the, of the Hollywood of the meshes with the, the droning soundtrack and the, the meaning behind the blue curtains. The curtains are blue. There's no meaning behind them. Okay, I think I've spoken long enough. I think my next video will be talking about the, the degree, like, why you shouldn't go to art, art school or film school in that matter. So... Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, love you, and bye bye And remember to stay awesome. Yes, this has been a very long video. Um, I just wanted to get some things out there, and it's just been a very long day. So, peace!